One of the real benefits of STEM is the emphasis on connecting science and mathematics to technology and, and engineering in a much more integrated and applied way. That's very much the goal of link learning and I think link learning working in combination with STEM provides one of the most promising strategies, particularly in high schools, for making STEM a really central part of students' experience in high school and the way they come to understand and view the world. You go into class and you get a question from a student saying, when am I ever going to use this chemistry? You know, I'm never going to do this in my life. Why should I care? And, and that's a real question that you need to be able to answer. So when I came to Harmony and the English teacher was teaching some of the chemistry and then the history teacher was teaching some chemistry because the theme was the same in all the classrooms, then when the kid comes in and says, when am I going to use this, I get to say, when you go to your math class today, they're going to talk about pH, and pH is in a logarithmic scale, and that's what we're going to learn today. And then they go, oh. Why do we need to learn this? That was always my question. That's why I didn't bother in ninth grade. But right here, it's like, why do we need to learn this? They're actually showing us that we're going to need these skills when we get to the real world. Well, what is the material that you're using glass? It's glass. So mm -hmm. the glass is not going to just stand by itself. You have to have some elements that are going to hold the glass. And now I actually see that I've always liked learning, but like over there I didn't really care. And right here, I actually, I, I see that there's a future for me. So I actually apply myself. Uh, you're put to the test on a you know, weekly basis. You are being challenged with all these projects. I think that is, is building confidence in all of our students. So that is a big thing, you know, that they need to build self-confidence by achieving. Kids in traditional classrooms kind of feel science is separate than math, which is separate than English, which is separate than social science. And we all know the real world doesn't work that way. So the effectiveness of this in STEM education is to make all the connections very clear to the student that even though we separate the disciplines in an academic setting, in the real world they all meld together again and are used to solve real problems. Okay, we have medical uses of lasers so we can cut and cauterize. So we can use the laser as a scalpel very easily. It's important for schools not necessarily to transform to our ideal of what, what is needed, but to transform to what appears to be needed for the future, period. We have to merge these different disciplines, not just scientific disciplines, but also mathematics and communication skills and English together to make someone a meaningful worker for the future. So we're doing this activity to see how different lasers and colors uh, uh, interact with a uh, tissue. See that one, it shines very well through. But then when it gets to the red, it bounces off. That tells us that it would use uh, red light to work on um, operations within the human body. Link learning develops a kind of depth and sustained learning that isn't present in the isolated project by project approach to STEM education. So it's, it's making that direct connection. Uh, between academic content, standards-driven academic content, and real-world practical application. We're losing our edge in this country in terms of science and technology, and the only way we're going to get it back is to really look at these very complex problems that require people from multiple disciplines and people with multiple skills to work together.